it's been a really interesting ride coming out of COVID with a lot of unexpected consequences. Uh, we certainly had some, some fears and expectations at the height of COVID, but coming out of it, I think there's been some very interesting learning lessons um, in particular that, you know, folks have um, not anticipated uh, some of the perils that's going to come out of it. For, for example, um, many of you might have heard about the class action lawsuits coming out of um, insureds concerned that their uh, commercial carriers were not going to cover any quote unquote business interruption losses. Um, they, to their dismay, found out that there's um, th those types of provisions are primarily sitting inside their property coverages. And so to the extent that there's no property losses, the insureds weren't going to get any claims uh, paid out for business interruption. Um, so, so that creates a really interesting paradigm for a lot of insureds where they just assume that if there's any interruption of business, that was going to be covered. However, as we all know, COVID created this um, interesting situation where people couldn't operate there was no property damage, and thus there's not a triggering event for the insurance. Um, so folks got very upset, and, and I think the learning lesson coming out of it was that you can't blindly rely on the insurance, that there are pages and pages of exclusions within all of the insurance policies purchased commercially. And so to the extent that you have a business, that you have some concerns, uh, maybe even existential concerns about something that could happen, it's very important to, to identify those things and figure out if that is uh, something you can live with. Um, uh, thankfully for a lot of our clients who have set up captives, clients who are setting up captives after coming out of COVID, um, these things are now in the forefront. So the design and implementation of these strategies are going hand in hand with what they buy commercially, such that if some of these unexpected events come down the pike, then they are appropriately covered between commercial policies and what they've set up with their captive insurance companies. Um, what I can also add to that is there's also an appreciation for certain types of risks that might not have been um, considered as much, for example, uh, you know, supply chain issues, supply chain interruption risks uh, lately have been uh, top of mind and certainly impacting uh, nearly everyone. Um, and this type of uh, risk sort of ebbs and flows and certainly, you know, as of late has become a, a huge consideration. So when, you know, business owners, um, you know, manufacturers, import, export, those types of companies um, think about supply chain, um, oftentimes they're looking at what the commercial markets can provide them with the premiums that also ebb and flow and those exclusions that we talked about. Um, Oftentimes they supplement or take um, and replace commercial policies with a supply chain interruption cover through their own captive. Um, to the extent that those risks are embedded in someone's balance sheet anyways, and if the ability to shift that to a commercial carrier doesn't pencil out very well, given the type of coverage, given the premiums they wanna charge, Oftentimes, the calculus is more favorable in driving that into your own captive so you can capture that type of underwriting profit.